Identification is very important in our community. So when a mob actually go to your GP clinics, the um, hospitals or any service providers, it's important for our people to tell them that they're Aboriginal. So then the people that have that information, the doctors know of the hereditary factors and all the conditions that impact it on their health, whether it be diabetes, um, renal failure, so they get a holistic picture of, you know, what's very prevalent in our community and what we're more prone to. My name's Anita Watts, I'm an Aboriginal General Practitioner. My mom's Radjuri um, and I work in mainstream general practice in Adamstown. Um, today we are talking about the importance of identifying Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander patients in general practice. Tony, are you of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander origin? I am, but I, and I've been asked that question every time I go into the doctors. So I just want to show why you're asking, why the doctors are asking that question for. Yeah. So it's a question that we ask of all of our patients so that we can make sure we're delivering the best possible care to all patients. Is there any other particular reason why you would ask I mean, if I was average and Torres Strait Islander, do you, is it, did I get treated differently or is my care different? Or? Yeah, um, so we deliver the best care to everybody, but Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people um, are more likely to have certain illnesses. Um, and so if we know that someone's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander, we do do um, different screening based on the likelihood of having different illnesses. Um, there are also some particular programs that are specifically for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and so knowing whether someone's Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander can help us direct people into certain programs or healthcare. Now I've heard people, other Aboriginal people in the community, other mob, talk to me about having a health assessment. Yeah, they call it a 715. Yep. What does that involve? Um, so that involves us taking a history from you, finding out all sorts of health risk factors, you know, about your diet and about exercise and all sorts of other things, and coming up with a plan um, to put you on the path to good health. So if you find something, you know, like if I need to go, if I've got a sore leg or a sore knee that might require some um, further looking at, mm. what do you do from there, what happened? Yeah, so if we needed to do specific tests like on your sore knee, say we needed to do an x-ray, so we'd do, after the health assessment, we'd, we'd work out what tests you as an individual needed, and we'd do all of those tests, and then we'd get you back to talk about all the results, and when we've got all the results, we'd make a plan for where's the best place for you to get that problem sorted out, so it might be a physio, might be off to a specialist, might be, you know, to a exercise specialist, it would depend on what we found in the results. Mm -hmm. And do I get usually charged for those things? No, I so, a, so a health assessment is um, a completely Medicare fee, there's no out-of-pocket charge for a health assessment. Um, the tests are all completely free um, and then after you've had your 715, it allows you to access what we call some allied health visits. So, you know, the physios, the exercise people, and you get um, some sessions with those if you need them after you've had your Aboriginal health check. What about if I require some medication or that type of thing? Because I know after talking to a lot of mob in the community that talk about medication and how expensive it can be at times. Yeah. Is there anything that can help assist with that? Yeah, so there's a program called Close the Gap which helps with the cost of um, prescription medicine that you get from the pharmacy. Do you know if you've already registered for that program? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so we can find out if you are, and if you're not, it's a really good program to be registered for, um, because once you're registered with the Close the Gap, it means that the cost of medications is either free, if you've got a healthcare card, or um, a very small fee for each prescription, and it, yeah, because Prescription medicines can add up if you're on a few different medications and it makes it much more affordable. Okay, okay thanks for that. I definitely need to book in for that, for that health assessment, have that done. Yeah, yeah. thanks. When people start identifying, it becomes data and that, that it ticks the box for population and and the needs or the, the number of people that need health services. A lot of people shy away from recognising and putting their hand up and saying they're Aboriginal, 
but and really in politics it's a numbers game and if we've got uh, more people ticking that box and no and and saying that they're uh, Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, that's good uh, data for the government to work with to say that this, I see this as a growing community and very soon, within the next 10 years, we're going to be have to be providing better health services for that community. It's, it's really, really important. It's important to know who you're from or who's your mob and where you're from for a lot of different reasons culturally, but I guess also health-wise for Aboriginal people, it's important to understand what are the chronic diseases that are affecting your mob and your family. Like in my family, we are well known for heart disease. Uh, I've got a lot of my mob that are, have got a lot of uh, sickness well, and heart disease at a young age. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's important. It's one of the foundations of uh, culture, land, people. People is kinship, family, connection. And obviously language and stories lead on from that. So yeah, it's important. Identification is so important. So when they go into your front desk at the doctor's surgery, Make sure you, all our mob, make sure you tell our doctor, the girls at the desk, that you are Aboriginal so they can get you the right support and plan for the right services within your community.